We're back. PTT. What up, Playboy? CT. That's how we do. That's how we do. Got uh, my main man here, Ty McKee, all day McKee, absolute superstar of the league. Got my oh. stunner shades, you know, because we keep it real. Thanks for being on uh, PTT, mate. One of the purest, purest shows around, you know. As, as much pressure as there is for me, you know, a lot of, a lot of naming rights sponsors want to come on board. I think it's important that this show stays pure and that I uh, don't bow to any sponsors. I saw you out in uh, Hotel Illawarra the other night, mate, and uh, it was a bit of a glary night. I couldn't help but notice you had your little uh, Prada joints on in the yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us the story behind the, the shades in the nightclub. Oh, so that's what we do um, back home, actually. If you notice, like, everyone does it in the States. I don't know why. You have a bit of uh, recent news back home um, around your sort of area. The, uh, a bit of drama with the Washington Wizards, with uh, Gilbert Arenas, Javaris Crittenton. Um, I heard that you uh, gave Javaris an absolute bath in uh, NBA uh, preseason camp. Just uh, went to work on him. Can you take us through that? Well, I did all right. I could have did like like a little bit better, but he was he was a good um, teacher. Like he showed me some stuff, and I'm looking forward to go back. Yeah. Like hopefully. Would you say you guys are fairly fairly similar in in a, in a few ways? Yeah. What type of uh, piece do you keep in the locker room? Um, I think he had a nine mil. Um, <laughs> what are you packing? Am I safe in our locker room, or are you packing heat? I could be packing like a little like a 22. And my shoe or something, but um, and you safe see trick, of Thanks, course. Man. That's why we stay boys. That's how we do. Fortunately, you've been hit with this uh, this back injury. Can you tell the people out there exactly uh, what's going on with your back and, and what's happened? Um, I'm dealing with like a little stress fractures. I don't know so like how that happened and all, but um, it sucks for real. In a while, like I feel like. And I can play by my own, like like the doctor keep talking about that. I gotta make sure, kind of like I'm like I'm like 100%. So For sure. this sucks being on the sideline, of course, because I'm like I know him, so my team need me, and I can help them. So it sucks so far. Definitely, man. We certainly miss you, mate. It's uh, certainly a struggle without you. Um, so is have they given a timeline for uh, for uh, when you can start to do things again? Or um, so they're saying two to three months, but. If you ask me, if I was back home and, and like I had th this type of injury, I'd be back out there in like two to three weeks, even though like I know the pain, so we'll be there. But um, they saying two to three months, but mm, if Kobe, I heard that Kobe had the same like injury, so if he comes back mm. like in, in like a week, I'm back in a week. You love Kobe, don't you? Do I? I love him. Pause. If, uh, if Kobe came up to you though and, and he said, look, Ty, I really want to give you a hug, would you give him a hug? I don't know. If he comes to me and say, it's like, just a hug, man. Ty, like, but He's if he asks me. Give you a hug. Answer the question. Would you hug Kobe? <laughs> I give him He's a dad for that. On that one, it's just it's the hug. He's like, yeah, man. On that note, on like the way like he like approached the question and like asked to hug me, I wouldn't hug him then, so like... Oh, if he just came in and just hugged you, you'd be cool with that? Yeah, I'd be cool with that. What if he just <laughs> sort of came in and hugged you and, you know, you kind of liked it and he just gave you a little kiss on the neck, would that be cool? No, it wouldn't be cool at all. I mean, You don't love him that much? I wouldn't even like Kobe and as a player anymore if he does that. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. I respect that. I respect that. So with your injury, pretty much right now, you're on ice. You can't do anything the doc said for you to just sort of just do do nothing do as very little as possible yeah, just uh, just do anything and that's that's can't, a, can't can't jog at all? can't jog i can't even get in the pool like can't operate heavy machinery or anything? no i can't do anything no. I don't know, just, what happens if you know you're out you're looking good you've got your <laughs> pradas on nice uh nice young filly it shows an interest in you, you um you pretty much just got to say Sorry, I, uh, I'm out of commission. Nah, I can't. I go behind the, uh, like, 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 like the dock back <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and move around a little bit. Can't do that, mate. You'll hurt yourself, brother. you hurt yourself. Slow, though, like, You're a good Christian boy anyway, aren't you? You're a good Christian boy. You're saving yourself for marriage, aren't you? 
No, I'm not saving myself. What? I'm not a virgin. <laughs> you certainly would have, wouldn't have signed you if we had known that, mate. But I suppose you can play this game pretty well. So we'll we'll let you off, mate. Got a little tennis ball there, pal. What's uh, what's that for? Um, it gets my ball handling up. Like hopefully, it works. It's showing some type of improvement on it. Like I'm actually like a little bit better at it. So yeah, it yeah, like it helps my handle. Steve Nash does it. Yeah. And he's pretty good. And he, and he's all right. Handy. He's handy. Nash, handy player, mate. Handy player. And your handle is certainly pretty incredible, but it's uh it's pretty it's a good sight. We stop in airports around the country and you know you bust out the tennis ball working on the handle. It's uh it's kind of cool, man. It's something I should probably do in the off season. Thank you. So you can improve when you're handling a little bit. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> so you can improve when you're handling a little bit. <laughs> I hear you, brother. I hear you. No, the left is just painted on. Mate, it's just there. just adds a bit of charm, but we don't go to him very often. But uh, as you know, mate, Phillies or Yankees? I've seen both uh, both uh, caps. Um, which ones just for style and which ones where your heart's at? Um, so my heart is with Philly, but the other one is for um, style. I actually, I bought the, like, the New York hat because I couldn't find a Philly hat. It's our boy, Jay-Z, isn't it? Exactly, so that's why I bought it too, because I've seen him. How good is Jay-Z? He's the best ever. Pre-season. You're straight, you're, oh. you're off the plane, mate. We go to the, the sweltering heat of Darwin. It was hot. Hot as buggery, if you will. Buggery. And um, we're up there. We just took out the uh, competition. It was the first... Uh, First sort of tournament we've won in a long time since the championship of 01 and, and people probably say it doesn't mean much but to this club any silverware we can get our hands on is, is pretty important but um, the basketball aside we've gone out and I don't know mate it was, it's your first sort of partying experience in the country. Uh, how'd you find that night? It was a bit of fun? Oh yeah it was definitely a bit of fun especially since we won and and just to be around like our teammates and all that stuff, so that was a good, like, it was a good start for me, but it ended up a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, it was good, mate, for you, good for you to bond with uh, yeah, yeah. with your teammates and whatnot, and they, we certainly cared about you and, and looked after you, mate, just as I'm sure you would of us. Um, we've actually got some CCTV footage of uh, of yourself and Timmy Conrad doing a bit of bonding. He... Um, yeah. There was a man down incident. You uh, you went down and uh, Timmy had to sort of uh, pick you up and uh, and carry, leave no man behind. A bit like, wasn't it? Leave no man behind. He threw you on the shoulder and uh, and took you took you out of there, didn't he? So uh, that was good of Timmy to help you out. Yeah, like I needed that because the guys back home, like I go to bed at like two o'clock, well, like ten o'clock. But here I was partying till about five. I, n I never do that, so the guys are um, a little bad for that. They made me party like past hours and everything, but mm. yeah, I just couldn't like hold hold myself up anymore. Mm. I was done. You're having a little uh, little power nap in the uh, taxi rank, and then uh, woke you up to get in the cab. You stood up, and then the crazy legs kicked in, didn't they? And we had a man down incident. Yeah, like I said, these guys. Um, I'm an early sleeper, and they had me out past hours. And I just took a little nap because I was a little tired. It was it was about 5:30 in the, in the morning. I was tired and I just fell out. I'm sorry for that. It's <laughs> no, fine. It was fine, buddy. It was quite amusing. I don't think it was because you were a bit under the weather. I thought that that was perhaps some of your new dance moves. Was the we've actually got some footage of. Uh, of your crazy legs dance moves as well, yeah, some CCTV footage. Uh, it's been great having you here, man, and uh, hopefully we can we can keep you around for the rest of the year. You know, see what happens, man. Hopefully things patch up with your back, and we can try and sneak into the playoffs. And then, but, buddy, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on board, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's no worries, mate. Absolute pleasure. Can we get a can we get a little little plug for the show, buddy? Pull the trigger. You know you want to. We're going to reload. <laughs> you got to join in. You got to join in with me. It's all right. We're not live. Take two. Pull the trigger. You know you want to. Boom. Boom.